I'll be fine. Father would never abandon me. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. What are you mumbling about? You're being annoying. If you're going to follow us around, then be quiet about it. D d you Not only did you lie to me, but now you're giving me a lot of attitude. You better show me some respect. The only person I show respect to is Lord Valvatores. No one else, not even the President, is worthy of my respect. Do you understand, Welp? I'm telling Father about this! Dad, it sucks that I had to bring him up. He's the worst. Big Sis, do you really think Daddy abandoned you? Do I think? I know he abandoned me. He hasn't come home in over two years. Since Mom died, I'm the only family he's got. How could he leave such an adorable daughter all alone every day? Can you believe that? He even knows that my school is like two feet away from his office, and he still never comes by to say hi to me. Hm. Does he think he's not a deadbeat dad just because he sends me money? I can't approve of a father like that. Oh, big sis. I'm glad you two are getting along, but pay more attention to your surroundings. Look, there are enemies about. No, I'll never approve of him. Big Sis, watch out! Please focus on the battle for now. Another day, another battle. say another paycheck, but I don't get paid for this. Yet. <laughs> Tense fingers. Uh, this map is annoying. Look at the size of this thing. And because of the no lifting panel, I can't, uh, throw to make this go any faster. And that ally damage, if I stand on there for a turn, I lose half my health. So this is a very slowly paced Trudge. Ugh. I'll teach you a lesson. Just not fun at all, really. Because <laughs> a lot of my characters can't move that far yet. Not bad. Ah, oh, and I just barely can't kill anything. All right, well, Here I come. let's knock another one of the main characters out of the way with the uh, there. the baseball enthused Fuka. What's not to like about Fuka? Oh, I could give you a few reasons. Give me a minute. She's another character with amazing combat stats that get better with time. Future reincarnations make her strong enough to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anyone in the game. Her natural area of effect skills make her good at splashing multiple targets when she's equipped with an axe. Fuku does have one weak side, and that's her abilities. Though Dream Girl is good for helping Fuku survive, it isn't as great as full-on offensive ability. In addition, she learns Revenge Throw and Pretty Annihilation, both of which are entirely situational. There's just not... They're just not great expect when... Ugh. Okay, they're just not great except when you're in the mood to use extra printies, and that takes up character space quickly. If you're not into the printy thing, consider giving Fuka a useful but generic ability such as muscle, muscle enhancement, which I believe would increase your HP by 5%. Time to bust some um, so yeah, Fuka, uh, what to tackle first? Uh, she She's proficient with swords and axes. Uh, let's see, 50% resistant to fire, 25% resistant to wind, and negative 50% resistant to ice. Um, her ability, Dream Girl, fully, Fuka takes half damage from special attacks. Um, you know, that's good. Uh, her, her HP and defense are okay, so, uh, it's true she, she, um, she doesn't die a whole lot. Uh... Fuka, Fuka's all right. You just really have to um, know how to take the biggest advantage of her. Um, if you're gonna give her axes, which I recommend, because they do such high damage, um, yet she doesn't have any offensive abilities. Uh, I, I sort of make her into more of a. I only recently uh, made her more of a tankish character by giving her armor mastery from the warrior class as her second ability, which increases. Uh, HP and defense aptitude by 30% with when armor is equipped. So that coupled with her Dream Girl ability means um, 
She can do... She already does decent damage with axes. Um, she... And if she's in the beginning of a combo, axes lower the enemy's defense stats, or they have a chance to. Which means, um, she's better at supporting the rest of the party do the actual damage and killing tougher enemies, and she's more likely to survive to keep hit- to take hits and keep on coming back. Cause, for example, let me sh let me tell you her other ability. Revenge Throw is her second one. And Triple Fuka's damage caused by Prinny Explosions. Um... I'm not too familiar with how printing explosions work. Here I come. Uh, printies explode when you throw them, and I think it's based on the printies HP stat. So if you juggernaut their HP specifically to make bombs to attack enemies with really tough defenses, and then you use this to triple that damage, that can be useful. But yeah, very situational, and remember, if you're throwing one of your printies, um, that's one less character you can use for the whole map. So that that those instances are so rare. I, I'm having trouble even thinking of any. And then the last one is Prinny Annihilation. Increase Fuga stats by 20% per Prinny defeated in a given map. Um, I can think of ready, ready. two maps where this ability would be amazing. Other than that, uh, pretty much useless, unless <laughs> unless you take out your own Prinnies to defeat. And again, that wastes um, character slots. So, why would you do that? So, if you happen to have the ability and you know you're going to find on a lap with a lot of printies, go ahead. But, you know, there's probably so many just as easy ways to, to defeat those maps. Alright, uh, Craftitude. HP 120, SP 90, Attack 130, Defense 110. Intelligence 75, Resistance 90, Hit 100, and Speed 90. So, um, great attack, good HP, and de and good defense. So, like I said, she's kind of balanced if, with axes and the fact that she'll do really high damage already. Take advantage and reincar reincarnate her early to increase the aptitudes even further. And, you know, you don't have to do what I did. Uh, you could just as easily give her a physical boost from Valva Torres if you want. You know, that that's perfectly fine since all her attacks are physical based as well. Or you could just go for a more balanced approach and I did armor aptitude. Uh, armor mastery, which, um, you know, I only did recently, but it seems to be working kind of well. You'd be surprised how much those, uh, those increased aptitudes make a difference. Especially combined with their innate ability. To take it a step further, if you you can make her a magic change pairing with a wood golem, as wood golems um, are tanks themselves, and every single turn you'll recover 10% health, um, furthering your capability of really tanking hits. Not to mention um, the two axe skills that wood golems have are quite good. So I I find myself doing that sometimes during the story. Uh, let's see, let's go into her class skills. We have Bomb Bat Stick, as, you, as you've seen. Uh, weakest attack, but it, it can hit three spaces away, up to three spaces, and it's fire-based. So, pull this out if, um, you know, most axes attacks are point-blank. So, take this out if you want to attack from a distance, and or if the enemy is weak to fire. Um, that could really help even it out. Although, I still find it to be weak. So you probably want to, but since the SP cost is so low, go ahead and bump this up three or four times, and I think you, it might balance out in the end as a result. Then we have Glorious Hitter. That's the fantastic baseball attack. I kind of like Fuka just for this attack. Um, it can hit up to two tiles away, but it's kind of weird in that it's like it hits up to three enemies, and it can't. It, they can't be adjacent to you. They have to be one more than one space away and then there are two more additional tiles back and below to the to the side it's it's hard to explain picture like a baseball diamond wherever fuka is first base has to be up and to the right second base has to be up and to the left of that third base has to be down to the left of that and then you're back down so you know picture a cross with an empty space and that's the requirements for fuka's attack baseball and then finally, Prinny Kaiser Double X. 
Um, it can hit a total of one, two, three, four, five. I think nine enemies. A uh, great area of effect. It can hit like four tiles in a row and then two to either side at the very end. So it's a giant T, and it's fire based as well. Uh, the power is only D, which is okay. Um, use useful when you learn it if the enemies are weak to fire or neutral. Um, and you can kill a lot of enemies. Um, there's a good leveling map, not an uh, nine four. Chapter 9-4 with experience and mana blocks, and this attack is perfect because it kills an entire row of it hits an entire row of mushrooms on that map who happen to be weak to fire. So you could abuse that whenever you get to it to level up Fuka. And that's all that the guide says. Uh, my take is she was good at first with her high damage, but Valvatores, Fenwick, and Desco kind of passed her relatively quickly. As her attacks, her, uh, some of her attacks are awkward, and again, she doesn't have an offensive ability. So I think she'll be, she's a safe character to deploy in the item world, where you're likely to get bombarded with a lot of special attacks. And if you focus on her defense, I think she will be overall a pretty balanced character that can serve you well, although not likely to be one of your most powerful characters but quite useful for the length of the campaign. That's my take. Uh, I, I, I used her severely less when I got into the post-game, but, um... Yeah, obviously, uh, I'm in the post-game now currently, as opposed to what I'm doing right here. Um, I, I've beaten a few of the extra bosses and gotten some extra characters, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of taking my time. I'm not. I'm actually going to the character world a lot of all things. I, I have a few units I want to make, like fully prepare. Like uh, Valvatores, I'm trying to get max aptitudes. Uh, <laughs> not max aptitudes, but reincarnate five times for that bonus, and you know give them the the movement and the throwing range and stuff. Uh, I need to do Desco as well. It's just that she has such an exorbitant amount of extra mana, I kind of want to utilize it fully before I reincarnate her and it goes to waste. Uh, but then again, she is so easy to level, I really should just reincarnate, reincarnate her a bunch. 25% extra attack and everything else would be so cool. oh, This one's... Moth Barrage. It's probably really disgusting if you think about it. Uh, yeah, Fenric, I only reincarnated once. I need to do him again. Uh, I use a measle a bit more than I did during the story, since he's, he's pretty good, actually. And I've been really working on powering up. Uh, my, my main power units are, like, my Magic Knight. And, um, I spent so long trying to unlock a Professor. You have to go through a chain of... Unlocking, you have to unlock this class, which unlocks this class, which unlocks this class, which you have to have two at a certain level at the same time to get a professor. Not to mention, um, this character is reincarnated so many times, it's costing a few thousand mana each time to reincarnate now. But I have one now, finally, and I'm, I'm leveling her up until she learns an ability where if she's deployed, all uh, your units on the map gain an extra 20% experience. It, it's gonna make, uh, power leveling so much faster later. Which, uh, not to mention, it's a good magic unit, uh, really good at buffing your characters. Um, and, uh, uh unlike my, uh, magic knight, who uses elementals, and, uh, th she just specializes in star magic. And she actually has the Terra Star. Um, basically, I just made a Star Mage, uh, put it in the mana group, and just yeah. absorb a shitload of mana until I was able to purchase all the Star Spells. Then I reincarnated her through a few... through, like, um, the Necromancer class, and the Healing class, to learn some of those skills. And finally, when I was able to unlock it, I got the professor, and now that's what she is, and I'm rising through the tiers of the professor. She's up. She's like a third tier. No, she's a second one. 
I'm trying to raise enough mana because I want to be a genius level every time I reincarnate, which costs a lot of mana, but you inherit 95% of the skills, the skill rate of your magic, and you get a lot more... It's just, it's just totally worth it. But I'm almost done with this goddamn level. As soon as I get off the the no lifting space, I, I think I throw them over to get those ninjas. So the reason it's probably taking me so long, I, I mean, I'm reading how a lot of people are a lot far, further and in much less time. I think it's because they only level up one or two units. You spend like an hour or two just power link leveling them and um, get a few items go through the iron world a bunch and give it to them and then they're you know they're powerhouses and you know I, I like having a I like having a team I, I, I spend so much time making five to six units um, above average to great um, you know and it takes a little bit longer and I'm, I'm bothering to reincarnate but the character world is very time-consuming when I find when I eventually show you you'll understand Yay! Fuck that stage. Pardon me, Mr. President. I have more news on the invasion of the Information Bureau. I assume it's not good, judging from the tone of your voice. I have received a report that claims Sura Measle is among the group of invaders. Oh? I hope he's there to show his backbone. But it's probably safer to assume the invaders are just using him. They're threatening Lepp and the progress they've made so far. They must have brought some excellent forces to help them. Your previous order has been delivered to all of our members. Are there any other prop? No. Execute the order. The measle will... Are you sure? I thought he was your precious son. You shouldn't treat him like he's just another rebel. What do you want now? I just had an interesting thought. There is a way to quickly wrangle total obedience out of every demon in the netherworld. You know, those rebels seem to be bothering you quite a bit. <sighs> You're probably thinking too hard about this. We have a great relationship, right? Just think of this brilliant idea as a gift from me to you.